All right, guys, what we have here is a badass uh, general electric air conditioner. I forget, I'm not sure what the BTUs are yet. Um, probably, yeah, that tag's a little dusty. I'm not trying to freaking break it while getting to the party that it does not feel like it wants to come off. I know these you just push down and pull, I think, but yeah, I'm not going to try to mess with it. Usually it tells you anyway. But yeah, it's a unique cover. It's a flip up design. I had one, oh, 7,000 BTU. Had one of these years and years ago that I gave uh, to the to my ex girlfriend. I was the one I was with at the time um, for them to use, and uh, they moved and left it there. So I'm screwed on that, but that's okay. I got another one. Yeah, I gave it to somebody to use, and I didn't get it back. So I'm very selective about who I lend stuff to anymore. So it's in really good shape. I actually got it off uh, Jeff J. I don't know why he didn't want this, but he didn't. I think it was a uh, he didn't like the compressor, I guess. I think. Which I love these. These are, these are the gen these are the uh, Westinghouse flat tops. They are not that. They are not very quiet on uh, high. Not bad on low though. I haven't fired this. I don't think I fired this one up yet. So as I expected, pretty. You can actually cheat and use that to deflect the air up higher if you wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary. It already deflects up. Now, the higher-end models have a uh, rear grill on the back. The base models with the regular egg grate-style intake do not. It's a little crusty. Uh, nothing I can't salvage, though. I have another one of these, like the one my grandmother had in her house on Beaver Dam Road in Edgeley back in the day. Looks the same on the outside, minus the grill and, of course, the uh, base model uh, front cover. So we're going to turn it up to... Oh, got to go off. Go through the speeds. Oh, I love this filter, by the way. Medium. It's actually not overly bad on high. Turn it on night and listen to that flat top start up. Oh yeah. Audio porn. God, that's freezing. Wow, already cold. I don't know what kind of shape the evaporator coils are in. I imagine pretty good. A little dusty. Maybe these uh, can. Maybe you could tell me. Maybe these uh, metal mesh filters aren't aren't as good as I think they are. That's got some pretty heavy dust on here. The whole thing is already cold. But yeah, it shouldn't be that dusty with that thick of a filter on it. Maybe these uh, filters leave a little bit to be desired. I don't know. They certainly look cool though. If you think I should replace it with one of the big uh, bushy uh, foam blue ones, I will. Yeah, the compressor noise is pretty prominent, even inside. It's rattling because it's not installed. It's sitting on top of a milk crate. Compressor's uh, louder on the inside than I remember it being. Now, granted, if it's installed, it might not be quite as bad, but you definitely hear it. I'll tell you what, it's blowing freezing cold, I will say that. Oh, that's not even a hinge, that's a plastic. Oh man, yeah, it looks like it's a plastic uh, fold like the um, Emerson's are. Probably be a little careful with that. Now I know they make these in the uh, 
medium-sized chassis, but Ken, if you're listening, do they make these in the large chassis with the, uh, you know, the big one like I gave to uh, Jordan U with the uh, square, uh, the square style uh, um, condenser grill with the uh, blue Westinghouse badge? I kind of feel like they might. If they do, I want to find one. I'm going to add that to my want list. So that'd be badass to have the big style with that uh, with that design. I wonder if there's something I can do to put behind that to quiet that compressor down on the inside. Doesn't look like there's much room. It's uh, it sounds great on the outside, but honestly, if I was using this in my bedroom, I would rather the compressor be a little quieter. Though if you're all, if you're more than a couple feet away from it, it's not that bad. I mean. It, it's a very, very, very minor bitch, if you even want to call it a bitch at all. Now, these things have a horrible uh, drain design, too. Where is it? I think it's on the other side. That's all vibration. If that was installed in the window, it would be a lot quieter, see? Actually, it's staying quiet now. See, if I'm all the way back here, if it was installed in your bedroom or something... It'd be great. <sighs> yeah, there's your drain hole right there. It's up pretty high, so about a half, probably quarter, maybe uh, three eighths of an inch up. So that's where it grips from. I'm gonna modify it, obviously. You already got some condensation developing on the uh, compressor. It's blowing ice cold. It feels like it's a lot colder than that. So the fashion air was actually blow, or the fashionette was actually blowing a little bit colder. I mean, not by much, but a little bit. Now, again, if you want dead-on accuracy, you don't want to use one of these. These will get you in the ballpark. But my fluke meter can actually take one. I just got to get the probe for it, the probe adapter for it. But you want to use a thermocouple probe or uh, one of those, uh, any thermostat with a real probe on it will get you a much better, um, much more accurate. I mean, these are pretty accurate for surface temp, yes. Like aiming back there, you can see that it's definitely in the 70s in here. But uh, for anything with air, when you have air blowing on it, it's just not going to read quite as accurate. So, yeah. But it's a very even temperature, between 2 and 3 degrees, about 2 to 4 degrees all the way across. So, to me, that's money. All right. Let's see if there's a big click when it turns off. Again, this is a Westinghouse flat top compressor. Oh yeah. Has what I like to call the Tecumseh S series jump. Wow, the fan already stopped. I guess it ain't so bad. Looks like that uh, that, that condenser is pretty crusty. So I'll get it cleaned out one of these days, maybe in the spring. Get it ready to go. No, it's not for sale. I'm keeping it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll get to this here uh, Emerson Quiet Cool next, and then a uh, bigger Westinghouse.